Hello everybody. Uh, welcome back, welcome back here. Uh, it's been a great time. Um, I want to appreciate you all for everything. Uh, watching um, really kind of like uh, helps me to keep on going with what I'm going up here. Um, we're going to have some kind of like a very intense uh, shifts uh, in the next uh, two weeks um what has been happening you know is that these collections of informations now uh at the beginning of the full moon period uh in there is going to be a uh, very interesting because exactly at the, during the full moon period uh we are going to have uh the moon joins uranus and it's going to be opposing the sun that is a the authority and intuitions who is going to win in there uh, with that energies a few days later uh, we are going to have the moon it's going to be joining pluto who is already going to be moving into aquarius um after all this we are going to be arriving to the new moon and Sag. that new moon at Sag is going to be about talking about the things that needs to be transformed but talking about the things that needs to be transformed uh, in there they are going to be based of your personal journey and what I mean about this personal journey is to understand uh, that your path towards the divine is depending solely on you that is a uh, you to find uh, uh, this pattern Okay, your personal relationships with the energies, with the divine, within your soul, within your spirit, within the gravity itself of what it's coming around. Okay, it's going to be really solely depending on you. There's going to be some a lot of uh, energies that's coming out. It's kind of like a, you seeding out. Okay, and what I'm talking about uh, is you to seeding the grass from the thorns. You to go through the energy is uh, much more uh, profound uh, in there because as the moon is going to be joining uh, Uranus that is going to be the innovations at work in the material world revising this and seeking it through the authority I believe that there's going to be some a lot of issues with an uh, authority a lot of shift with an authority a lot of changes but if those changes, they are in a base out of uh, um, this masculine energies in there. If you are acting in a base of out of uh, uh, desperations and anxiety, anger, you're going to be missing a lot of the things. There's going to be some more destructions. If you are working in a base out of authority and I am the boss and so on, you're going to be missing the evolution what do you need to look uh, through this uh, um, full moon when it comes in uh, in their period in the next uh, two weeks we are going to be uh, seeking it of the parts of what it needs to be evolved okay of what it needs to be improved seek there because of what needs to be improved it's going to help you to give you a directions of uh, where the distance is going to go because Pluto is going to be during this period Pluto is going to be entering Aquarius he's not going back anymore to a Capricorn thanks God it's over okay this thing is over it's time to innovating it's time to recreate yourself and what you have learned what you have collect is going to be depending in your personal relationships within yourself but also what it's coming towards within the humanity how are you going to be act of this so uh, with that being said um this is a uh what does it look like uh, the diagram as i said this is a uh, it's going to happen at the 24th uh, degree of uh of taurus versus the 24 degrees of scorpio uh energies uh, there uh, as you see it that that time the Mars is going to be rising the ascendant and it's going to be opposing Pluto 
uh, energies. And this is going to begin of that. But your internal visions within yourself, how you change yourself, is going to be depending of Neptune. Why? What is going to be with this Neptune positions? Well, the Sun is trining Neptune. Neptune is sextiling the Moon. You got to put your visions in a straight in orders. Neptune and Pluto, they're still in a sextile, which is that is going to help with the energies of what? Of Mars. Uh, Mars and Venus, they're going to be uh, divine energies, very powerful uh, aspect uh, there. Uh, but you're going to see it as the moon is going to go around. Okay, she is going to go up in a new moon and then she's going to be coming here to join and could join Pluto with Venus. It's going to be ignitions of that stage of the age of Aquarius. But when the moon is going to come out towards Mars, pay attention in there because those energy it's going to be coming in towards you on very powerful challenges. How did you managing to improve yourself? And at what level did you improve in yourself? Okay. Do you prove in yourself to prove towards others, to show up to the others, to say like, hey, I'm on this, uh, like in old ways, I'm in these uh, positions, I make that amount of money, I'm driving this kind of car, I'm living in this neighborhood, and so on. That's Taurus energy, okay? Or you are like, I'm creating the new world, I'm developing something new and better than everyone else is, I'm not compete, I don't compare, I create. This is going to be the difference that's going to come in. So it's going to be starting on the 15th, on the 16th, uh, there, the moon, it's going to be moving between uh, Uranus and uh, Jupiter. It's going to be a divine energies with Venus that is going to be about that powerful moments of Mars and the moon that it's going to come and they're going to empower in Venus. Even though the Venus currently is like, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. I am doing the proper work and uh, I'm doing the proper situations isn't there. But as I say, uh, go and study the Sabian symbols. What is it? The first 10 degrees of Capricorn. That is going to be telling you. If you have something in there, if you have a planet, uh, take a look. That planet is going to be giving you what is that spiritual part within yourself. Okay? If that is a, the moon, that is your intuition at work. Okay? If that is Mercury, that is your communications, the way you talk there if that it's mars that is your power in there okay if uh you have a uh, uh, north node or if you have uh, uh mid heaven uh, for example that is it the inner work that you came here for the north node has been giving you to you to giving you this uh, missions in life up here and if it isn't some of those degrees, it's going to be really uh, getting you on that. So with that being said, uh, guys, if you really need some help, you can contact me. I can do your chart. The things is okay. It's not that uh, uh, cost your arm and a leg. Okay. Uh, talking about uh, in the next day. Um, there you go. Software challenges. Uh, the moon is going to join Jupiter opposing mercury okay you need to talk about the uncomfortable things of what they need to grow in there and uh this unthoughtful uh, communications okay you have to learn to be proper communicating even if it's unpleasant even if it is not right that's going to show up your strength but also it's going to help you to heal those patterns inside of you okay this is a, the power that you have to revise jupiter is still a retrograde uh, retrograde uh, uh, there uh, we are going to have a uh, saturn is going to be stationary finally he's going to be like okay i taught you what you need to know now i want you to perform okay so we are going to start dropping off of uh, the retrograde uh, season uh, the big planet is going to be stop uh, being in a retrograde one by one they're going to be start dropping off and we are about to move forward 
but you're moving forward as i said it's depending on what information did you collect how did you look at it within the relationship what happened in the past year okay you you're gonna be fig figure things out but things that's coming they are gonna be beautiful all right 18th um the moon is gonna be at uh, cancer that is uh, she's home and she's seeing it uh, of uh, the emotions uh what is the not proper what is the situations uh, of this improperly in there that is going to be probably triggered uh, situations is like uh, um, your love it is about you putting your love towards work but there is no love towards family your work takes priority over your family and now your intuition is telling you what about this emotions of the family is the work takes everything for you so uh, with that oppositions with uh, Venus and uh, particularly with the squaring towards the North Node a lot of the people is going to be like, uh, okay, I have a job, I have a money, but I don't fulfill my missions as in there as uh, what I need to do at the current moment of time. Okay. Since uh, Saturn is going to be already direct uh, in there, he is going to be helping of uh, with Venus. He's going to be like, okay, now you can move forward. Now you can get in there. Now you will know what you need to do in life. The next day, that's going to be the 19th. Uh, divine energies with Mercury, divine talks is going to be uh, coming of uh, that positions. The moon is going to be trining the sun and also trining Neptune. There's a lot of water, a lot of emotions. The sun is about to get out of uh, Scorpio. Uh, the sun is at the 28 degrees. Two more days is going to be staying uh, in there. And uh, with those uh, positions of the divine talks uh, that you're going to need, uh, pay attention to what you have with Tendil. Because uh, Venus and Saturn is going to be pointing out towards uh, mid of Leo. Okay, there's going to be this beautiful yacht uh, in there about your ego, how to overcome your ego and how to put yourself to work, how to get this Capricorn and Pisces energy combinations it creates the fire from within the authority because that's what the house of the authority is that's what the sun it's belong to the rule the sun is ruling leo okay so uh, in the next uh, day that's going to be the 20th as i said uh, uh the moon is going to be joining mars okay you're going to be looking at towards the north node so is the sun proper energies, uh, proper authorities uh, uh, that you're going to have to put in to, uh, with this uh, situations uh, for uh, the things is going to come out. But the reason is, is we have a one degree of the sun to move to another fire sign. But the sun currently is where? At Scorpio. This is going to be the day when you're going to pick up the fire and you're going to be like, okay, it's time for me to get up. I've been down. It's time for me to see the new world it's time for me to, to break the cocoon it's time for me to move forward enough is enough and this is uh, gonna be this uh, uh firing energies with uh, the moon and mars i'm talking about a positiveness of energies the negative side of the energy is gonna be this opposition with pluto i don't want to change i don't want to go i don't want to do it uh, and i don't like it this and i don't want it this and I don't want to adapt. How are you going to be changing things? Okay. How are you going to change things? If you don't change things, nothing will change. Everything is going to still remain the same. But you are complaining, whining, mourning, and bitching about that things are not going right in life. And when you are understanding uh, uh, within yourself, that uh, energy is going to be helping you to shift in our positions. Okay, fusing the properly the energies, you you can shift. Don't say you cannot. Some people and it's their charts, it doesn't how hard that it can be. They can go around, and this is when the will of life, it works. That's what your will of life is. That is uh, the energy that come, because when you are born, okay, through the wormhole, your energy of the soul 
have to match the energy of the earth they gotta have exact the same frequency to match so through the wormhole you are enter a portal that you coming to the earth there is no other way you can't be uh, traveling from uh, one dimensions to another to manifest uh, in there if you don't get through these energy portals and if you're understanding this and why did the ancients created the astrology and said your destiny is written in the stars right why because you knew what your destiny will be matching the energies that you came here for all right next day 21st um the moon is going to be with the ascendant uh, in there as i said um pay attention to what you have on that leo because that is going to be the moment when the uh, authority is beginning to change itself into the divine authority okay uh venus and saturn is going to point it out to those 13 14 degrees in there within uh, leo take a look what you have there if you have a chiron you need to heal something if you have a lilith you have to look your meaning in there if you're the true lilith you need to be learn how to be vulnerable truthful and honest in there okay so with those uh, uh energies uh, up here uh that day the energy is gonna come out uh, right we have sextile with jupiter we have the sextile with the both lilith we have the trines that it's with chiron and we have a trines with mercury proper thought leads to a proper behavior proper behavior leads to a proper actions okay but when you learn things you also have to be adjusting to things to the new learnings some other people are going to have a heart issues with this all right 22nd uh, the sun is already yesterday moved uh, into a uh, satch uh, there right now that uh, uh, energy of uh, squaring uh, in there uh, is going to begin to be affecting a lot and we are talking about this is going to be a firing energy the moon it's going to be at the end of uh, leo while the sun is at the beginning of satch too much fire can backfire particularly we're talking about that the moon it's going to be uh, squaring uranus and squaring the sun whatever happened during the, the opposition is the beginning of the full moon right now you're gonna be uh passing like a one quarter of the problem but the rest of the quarter of the problem still remain the rest of the 25 percent of the beginning of the lesson of the lawn of the scorpio okay it comes in what is that coming from when the sun and the moon are coming in together you have the first quarter moon that is the first square so you're learning the 25 percent during the oppositions you learn the 50 percent and you have the oppositions because you know half of the truth then you go out and you get into the third quarter moon which is the 75 percent and now when you have the new moon again then you're putting everything on the pieces together you're finalizing the things and you have a lot new beginning new lessons that he needs to be learned between authority and intuition what's coming next okay so with those uh, uh energies uh, uh even in the next day we talking about 23rd uh, the moon is going to be at the uh, mid of Virgo, opposing Saturn, squaring Jupiter. It's going to be about wisdom and wealth. Okay, maturity, but what kind of maturity we're talking about? Yeah, if you have psychological problems, you have to look at it and go talk to a psychologist. If you have uh, emotional problems, you need to be talking about emotional intelligence. But if you have growth, situations building the brand new things what do you need to have a courage strength and impossible almost impossible discipline and organization that is going to come with what when you build the things you're going to build them with love the moon and venus they are going to be a very beautiful try that is the things on earth things on earth and venus is going to be the one that is going to be helping to the moon 
to understand it, guys. All right? You don't build things just because to survive all. A lot of the people getting into the relationship and they stay in the relationship because of the survival. Are they happy in there? You already know the answer. All right. Next day, 24th. Uh, the moon still is going to be at uh, Virgo. Powerful energies with Uranus. Be mindful about communications. Those uh, energies with uh, Mercury. Uh, you need to understand every time the Mercury squares uh, Virgo, you're going to have some issues. Okay, it's kind of like I'm squaring home. I'm not doing the right things. I'm not talking the right situations. I didn't learn. I didn't saw. What did it not saw? It was the divine energies from Uranus towards Mercury. Okay, that's what you did not saw. If you're operating on a base out of your soul, the thing is going to get much better for you. Much better for you. But if you're looking at to these confrontations, or if you're seeking confrontations, oh, you got plenty of it. You have Uranus that it's uh, opposing the Sun still. You have a Jupiter that is opposing Mercury. You have Jupiter squaring the Moon. You have a Jupiter squaring Saturn. Limitations. Hiding yourself. And look at who I am. Be what you are. But don't show off show up being there out there in the world and start changing yourself and be the example that's what it's mean to show up not show off okay all right next day 25th uh that is going to be the moon is going to be joining the south node uh energies they're going to be very good with pluto uh, very good energies with mars uh, the moon is going to be a sextile link uh, with the sun is like, you know what, dear authority, I'm coming. I, I got everything I learned from the past. And now today we have to put the past behind the past problems. We understand the problems. We solve the problems. Let's moving what? Let's moving forward. Mercury is going to be stationary. Okay. Uh, he's going to be stopping in there because he's going to be going retrograde. You guys going to get another uh, video on the Mercury retrograde as usually you get in it uh, for me. Uh, for, but that is uh, about to revise what happened in your past relationships. Okay. What does it happen in your past relationships? All right, as uh, we are talking about the next day, uh, that is going to be the 26th of November. Uh, the moon's going to be joining Lilith, squaring Venus, and opposing Chiron. Unhealed patterns of love, codependency, improper energies and understandings about the relationships. But it's going to be living for what? your best friend okay that's what the, it is are you the best friend within yourself jupiter is going to be playing that role because jupiter is a divine energies with venus you're trusting the divine energies they're gonna come but the jump is not about the others to come and put you on a pedestal and here you go you don't have to worry about anything it is about you to pick up yourself, trust in the divine, and start walking with it. And many people is going to be talk, but only few will walk. We already know how that goes. All right, the next day, uh, that is going to be 27th. The moon is going to be exiting uh, Libra. It's going to be start uh, entering uh, within Scorpio. Remind us about uh, this uh, lesson that was. Uh, at the beginning of the new moon it's kind of like a okay i went i learned i got as everything now let me do all the situations but uh, um if you remember it uh, in there at the end of uh, libra there is the beginning of uh scorpio was the divine energies from particularly talking about uranus and uh, neptune Mercury is already retrograde, so the energy is going to start uh, showing up of these misunderstandings uh, in there. 
and with those misunderstandings uh, for it is about to understand you need to talk more when you have misunderstanding and this is going to be revaluations you're going to have for evaluations of communications situations from within yourself something that you not understood properly you're going to be seeking clarity and that's what the mercury retrograde will be okay but right now you are getting into the energies of understanding and the wisdom particularly uh, talking about the 20th day on the 28th of november uh the moon is going to be trying saturn uh, saturn is already going forward it's like okay show me show me how you're going to go into the underworld learn what you have to and come out okay and uh, as those energies are going to comes out and uh, beginning to shift uh, more and more uh properly uh in there uh paying an attention is about to venus that's coming and joins pluto you're gonna start feeling those uh, energies uh, there you're gonna see it like something new is coming something tells me to act completely new a renovated way and this is the beginning of age of aquarius okay you're gonna start walking on that path start walking on that road to start walking on that road all right so here is uh 29th the moon actually was there where the sun was opposing uranus now she has to stand what happened with the sun and what did the sun it was opposing the universe and she's like oh it wasn't right Ooh, it wasn't great. I need to heal something. Ooh, I needed to put more love in there. Okay, so with this uh, uh, energies uh, uh, for you're gonna understand that uh, something in the material world wasn't right. But when wasn't right? What was not right? The way you thought, the way you understand, the way you learn things the when you assume things instead of really investigate it put more understanding to it and if something was not understood properly you need to go and seek clarity and here is that the energy of the new moon that is going to come um very powerful new moon it is going to be about the future and your your courage okay that courage that it's coming here it's going to be with mars towards the north node and this courage it has to be coming out from you not somebody to pushes you not somebody to do it yes you need somebody to be next to you so you won't be alone in the road someone who can you can lean on it okay but that is not from codependency that it is because it's meant to be and this is going to be this new understanding that it's coming pay attention to what you have in taurus there's going to be the divine energies in the earth they're going to be kind of like a manifesting of this because with that the new moon is going to begin because in the next day the moon is going to be joining the retrograde mercury that is going to be where you really your intuition is going to be revising of the wrong inspirations the wrong roads the wrong learnings and who said what and when and what did you pick up from that this is going to be a lot of triggers for people okay but with that mercury retrograde we're also going to be revising revising the past what it was this could be a revisions for a books revisions from videos uh, social medias politics anything they had expressions out in the world okay broadcasting channels news and so forth okay this is gonna be that sitting out the wrong information and with this it's gonna be getting the new moon so uh hopefully you guys uh, that information helps you out uh, uh for uh, i will appreciate your comment if you need any assistance 
you can send me an email at the website below thank you so much guys